been farming um, for other people for the last you know five or six years um, and kind of honed in on our skills and um, we found this piece of land that that worked for us and so we decided um, to try our hand at, at um, growing food on our own and and really being able to have the freedom to grow the way we want to grow and that adheres to our values and the way we we see sustainable food um, being produced in the future. Supporting local farms and local economies has a lot of really beneficial impacts within a community um, and we wanted to create a business that allows people to engage with that, get the most healthy possible food as close to them as possible um, and in doing so they're supporting everyone around them. We try to buy and support other farms around us and buy from other local businesses and so when people uh, spend their money with Let Us Love Farm, we're then putting it back into the community. I think as a small farmer, we work really hard to bring a quality product to, um, you know, a city or a farmer's market or a restaurant. Um, and I think here in our country, we don't necessarily understand how much it costs to produce that food and how much effort went into it. Um, so one thing we're working to change is just people's understanding of what the real price of food is um, and that, you know, five dollars for a half pound of salad is not a, a crazy price but actually a realistic one given the cost of production and the cost of our time and, and the marketing that we have to do. Um, same with eggs, you know, people are used to buying eggs at the grocery store for two to three dollars but to raise them on pasture feed them good food, scrub each egg clean, uh, and then package them at, you know, $8 a dozen is not a crazy price. And, you know, it's something that we're working to make people understand is that the cost of food is actually, you know, fair at a farmer's market uh, and probably more than you're used to paying at a grocery store if you're working with a small local farmer.